Uh, today I will show you how to create a Telegram bot using c .net. First of all, you will use Visual Studio, which is uh, free, the community edition. You can download it from the official website, visualstudio.com. It's totally free. Uh, after that, you will go to Visual Studio and create a new project. Uh, under C Sharp, choose console application. You can type here console application C Sharp and go name it whatever you want. Uh, basic Telegram messaging bot. So, this is now our program. Uh, we will use a Telegram bot library found in NuGet packages here. Browse. Telegram.bot. Just install it. It will gather the dependencies, all these dependencies for the library to be installed. Press OK. And uh, while it's installed the dependencies, let's create our Telegram bot on Telegram servers. Uh, first of all, we'll go to Botfather. Press Start. And a new bot. It will ask you for the name of this bot. We will call it Basic Telegram Bot Messaging. Okay, let's choose a username for it. It's here. So now uh, they gave us an HTTP API access token. This access token allows us to tell Telegram API that we are the, the uh, owners of this bot. Uh, we will use it in our code, but now to navigate our bot, we only get this name and go here, press on the name, and here is our bot. But it can't uh, do anything right now. Uh, go to the program. First of all, let's see in the references, Telegram bot is added. This is the library we are going to use. Um, add the namespace using telegram.bot. Let's create our bot instance that we are using in our program. Private static read only telegram bot client bot equal new telegram bot client. So now it asks us for the token. This token, which is provided by the bot father. Go to bot father. Here's the API token. Paste it, just paste it here. And you are good to go. So now we'll know when the user sends us a message in the bot. So we'll, we'll register to an event that will trigger whenever a user sends us a message. Uh, bot dot on message. This event triggers every time he sends us a message. Only press tab and it will be created. Um, in the message args here in E, we have the message sent by the user. So now let's check if it's a text message actually or it's a photo or anything else. If e.message.type equal equal dot text message, I want to log it. Console.writeline uh, e.message.text. All right. So now uh, we want the bot to start listening uh, on our server we are going to create here. So choose bot.start receiving. And then we are going to prevent the screen from going out, read line, then bot.stop receiving. So now we are good to go. Let's try this. Start. Here's our bot is running. Go to our bot. Basic Telegram messaging bot. Let's send them I. And we received it here. How are you? Okay, it's here. So now we are going to reply to the bot. So according to the user input, we are going to reply. See how it works. Stop the bot. We are going to get rid of this. Uh, of course, we can register to an event uh, even when the user edits the message. On message edited plus plus equal the same function. 
So now, whenever the user edits the message, we can know here. So now let's check if e dot message dot type equal equal uh, text message. Now we are going to do our logic. If e dot message equal equal how are you dot text of course. Um, bot dot send text message async. Uh, we are going to send it to e dot message dot chat dot id and then we want to send the string uh, fine thank you and you see it's so simple else if Else if um, e dot message dot text equal equal good morning go and send them the same the same thing okay just change the text and tell him Good morning, and let's say his name plus e dot message dot chat dot name first name last name or even the username, and then go else. We'll send him what what he should send actually, like this. At usage. How are you? Also, good morning. So, let's put a slash here, slash here, slash here, and the slash here, and now we are good to go. So now let's start our bot. Go to the Telegram bot and type anything. It will send us. Usage, how are you? And good morning. I should put underscores, sorry, because it reads as a line. Um, oh, not necessary. Go to here, just copy and paste it. Copy it. Slash, how are you? Why, thank you, and you. Also, you can type uh, good morning. And it will reply to you, good morning, I some more, which is my username. So this is a basic telegram. There is a lot of lot of cool stuff to do, but uh, we'll good here. Uh, and with the second videos, we will show you more uh, features. Thank you.